Thank you for tuning in to Homeschool Homesteaders. Today we're going to talk about what are currents. But first, a pop quiz. What kind of currents are these? Red, white, or black? And the answer is white currents. Now, they are considered white. I know, tricky, but these bushes up here, these are red currants. Notice the darker shade of red. So those were white, these are red. And finally, these right here will be the black. And that's obvious, black currants. Now, believe it or not, we have some weird grammar rules. I don't make up the language, so don't blame me, but black currants is usually spelled as one word. However, red currants and white currants are spelled as two separate words. So just an FYI, people in Europe know everything there is to know about currants. It's a European delicacy. And when we look here at the map, the dark green area show where currants grow. So it's obviously a cool weather crop and it's been introduced pretty much everywhere. And Poland is the biggest producer of black currants in the world. Here in the U.S., uh, we see once again the northern states, Canada, Alaska. That's where black currants, red currants, white currants grow. So obviously, if you live in the north, do try growing some currants in your garden. I live in the state of Minnesota. Here's the dot. I made the dot bigger for privacy reasons, but that will put me in about zones four or three. And my state is a perfect place to grow currants. On the difficulty level, currants will be maybe two out of 10. So these are very easy bushes to grow. When it comes to the ideal growing temps, you want somewhere from 25 Fahrenheit to 70 Fahrenheit. And these are extremely cold tolerant plants. And once the temperatures hit over 85, and if it's a continuous weather, uh, they will start turning yellow, dropping their leaves. They will still survive, but you want cold weather. So a good cold spring months is best to grow currants. Now let's take a look at one cup of red and white currants. And as you watch the line speed across, notice that vitamin C, it's really high. So one cup of currants will give you 98% of your daily dose of vitamin C. Vitamin K is about 20%, manganese is 24, and also phosphorus and potassium are above the 10% line. So these are very healthy berries. However, let's look at one cup of black currants. And once again, as the line zigzags across, what you notice is the vitamin C. And one cup, one cup of black currants will give you 400% daily dose of vitamin C. So these are extremely healthy. And everywhere else, they're the same. But once again, vitamin K, manganese, phosphorus and potassium are all above the 10% mark. So extremely healthy berries, easy to grow berries, and obviously get used to them because you should be growing them in your garden, especially if you live in northern states like I do. So here we have live footage of my garden. I have 42 plants growing in my garden, currants. And it's April 20th, very cold, snow will continue falling in the month of April, even May. And this is how I feed my plants. I lay down bark and mulch on top. Very easy, that's the only plant food these plants require. 11 days later, you notice the mulch is laid out and the plants are showing some green. And this is May 1st. By May 12th, you have flowers. Every other tree is still bare, no leaves, but these grow really quick. Uh, the bees will love you. They will come to your garden, honeybees, um, bumblebees, and they will enjoy the first flowers of the season. 
The bees and other pollinating insects obviously did a good job because by May 22nd, notice there are tiny little berries appearing on the plants. It's still the month of May and you already have green berries. And here, um, I'm just trying to zoom in so you can see better, but you see those tiny little berries. Those are what you're gonna eat eventually. By June 2nd, the berries are obviously getting bigger. They, you cannot eat them now because they will be very tart. You gotta wait till they turn color. But keep in mind, like I said, I have 42 bushes and I'm only showing you a few bushes at a time, but look how much berries are on one bush. And this is like from one twig. You've seen the earlier clips where it's like in the spring, barely nothing. And one month later, you got leaves, you got green berries, everything. And so, yeah, this is, if you don't want to plant 42 bushes, you could plant one or two, and there's going to be plenty of berries for you to enjoy. Here, I got some berries against my gloves, so you could see the comparison. And by June 18, you're still having green berries. So they're going to be green for quite a, a while, maybe a month. Even the black currants. Uh, still take a long time. They're going to be green for a month. So you can see some of them are turning black. Easy to distinguish which is which. This here clip shows you how the berries slowly turn black. And by June 23rd, you will have your first black currants of the year. From this clip, you notice that one berry turns black at a time. And so you will have to come every morning and pick as much berries as you need. So here I got one in my hand so you guys could see the shape and the color of it. With the white and the red currants, you're going to have a lot more berries ripen at the same time. So you will have to come every day and rip as much as you need. Also keep in mind the birds and the wind will devour a lot of the berries. Also, caterpillars are a problem. So, caterpillars I just pick off by hand, but never herbicides, no pesticides, nothing. These are all organic bushes, grown organically, with using organic methods. By June 25th, the white currants are fully ripe. You will have to come every day, pick them. Also, the black currants, which my kids are not very fond of, but they also ripe a lot of berries at the same time so you really have to come every day and rip them otherwise they rot the birds eat them squirrels other birds critters and stuff like that here we have white currants and i stress and these are white they are not red they look red but they're white here are black currants again on the branch. Once again, you have to come and pick every day. I do apologize that this clip is very blurry, but this is red currants. They kind of look like white currants, but they will turn a darker shade or more brilliant shade of red. And so uh, my kids like the white currants and the red currants. They're not very fond of the black currants. So the white and the red currants disappear really quick, thanks to my seven kids. The best way to enjoy any berries is to rip them right off the bushes and enjoy them plain. However, always experiment with jams, jellies, desserts. Here I have bread, French bread with butter, a lot of butter. Then you take some black currant jam or jelly, put it on the toast, and enjoy it. Make sure you have your cup of tea with you. Also, black currant tea leaves is a very good tea and one of my favorite herbal teas. Both my wife and I enjoy this. Uh, you just take the leaves, uh, then you take your black currant jam or jelly, just a tablespoon to give us some flavor, even though the leaves are delicious on their own. Uh, pour some hot water, let it seep for I don't know how long, and then you pour it into a cup, 
and enjoy. Very good tea. Like I said, this is like my top three favorite herbal teas out there. And any extra berries, highly nutritious berries, give them to your chickens. Give them to your pheasants, quails, whatever livestock you have, turkeys, and let them enjoy. So, because they are healthy. And thank you for watching, everybody. Go plant some bushes now.